talk. <laughs> She must have gone another way. These dumb ones have no reason to lie. What did you get? This dagger. What about you? His purse. Where was I? <laughs> On the other side. Oh. I am grateful. Let's leave her here and take the horse. There are races for rich prices at the horse fair. If you will take me, I could ride my stallion and win much gold for you. We don't need her. I can ride the stallion. Daddy, oh. <laughs> old boy. Whoa. 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 Steady old horse, steady old horse. Nice, horse. An unruly horse and a dangerous woman. Only evil can come of this. Take me to Naharina with you. I go there to find Herua, the leader of escape slaves. Herua? You'll lose your heads if you get mixed up with him. No. It will be worth your while to protect me. I will win races for you. Your purse will be full. <laughs> you can't spend gold from a gallus. Here is a fine horse and a slave girl to ride him for us. We will disguise her and take her with us. Very well. We were born to hang. We might as well do it together. It is a small risk. So great a prize. <laughs> I'll get the horse. <laughs> There she is. Quiet. Let it not be known. Fifty pieces of gold are the black mare. Who'll bet fifty pieces of gold? Fifty gold pieces done. Well, how... Shh. <coughs> Here is my wager. Let me see yours. What? Don't you trust me? We're the owners of the golden stallion. Yes. I trust the horse, not you. I'll wager my gold, but if you lose, I'll take the stallion. Should have drawn my dagger for that insult. <clears throat> I too noticed he had the wrist of an expert swordsman. He sure did. Hey, where are you going to get 50 pieces Shh. of gold now? Where? You must be a magician. I couldn't find one. There's one more. Where is the black mare? <laughs> Two in front. These desert horses run like the wind. I didn't come here to watch a race. Look about you. Maybe she came here to search for Hero as she said she would. Hey, what if she. Uh, I mean, he keeps on going. We'll lose a race and have no horse to pay the wager. They'll hang us. That's what they'll do.
Thank you. Look, the golden stallion. Yes, and ridden by a nomad. I've seen the Princess Naila ride her stallion too often to be fooled by that. Kamor, I love you. I said I would win. You were wonderful. May I speak to you? Who, me? You own the stallion? Well, all of us. Him, him, and me. I'll offer you any three of my horses for your stallion. Three horses? I've never ridden against a better animal. Perhaps you'd be willing to offer money. There's nothing as fascinating as the tinkle of gold pieces. The stallion is not for sale. Come, follow well, me. We can get three horses with the... <laughs> well, three horses with the... We have purchased all the horses that we need. I will join you in a moment. I've seen something here which intrigues me. Seventy pieces of gold. A slave girl is worth more to us than a queen. There will be other races tomorrow. We'll reach your prices for the winner. Then tonight? Let us spend what we have won today, the three of us. I have more important things to do. You mean finding Harua? But how can you when no one knows what he looks like? It is one thing to salute a superior animal. It is another to find that a woman has beaten me. You lost, fairly. What more do you ask? Only to feast my eyes upon your... Slave girl. I have heard there was a girl of your description that escaped recently from the slave of Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. We're trapped. What is it you wish? I will not betray her. On the contrary, I offer safety. A place in the desert where no slavers could follow. See how close we are to discovery, to torture, to slow execution? Oh, please, Maria. Uh, perhaps you would be willing to offer a few pieces of gold for this girl? How many? Well, I don't know. I'll make a deal with you. If I had no money to purchase food, if I lacked clothing to shield my skin from the sun, still I would not sell her. A hundred pieces of gold? Oh, please, Marab, I'll buy an entire harem. Only let us sell this one dangerous female, please. What can you offer for the feeling of joy when I look at her? What price for the exaltation in my heart when she smiles? When she is near, I am a king. No, not to you, not to her, but to myself. Please, Murat, he offers gold. His words stem from this, this exquisite inspiration. And I understand. Our paths may not cross again, but I will always remember. Would you wish to have gone with him? I am content. Well, I'm frightened. In here. <laughs> this girl's an escaped slave. We didn't know. We bought her in good faith. <laughs> Palace of Chemists. She says the Lord Counselor will punish us all. The slave's insolent. 
According to the law of the land, escaped slaves and criminals who harbor them shall be torn apart by wild horses. Let it be thus. Well, here we are. It was bound to happen. I'm sorry we could not protect you. I had no right to entangle your fortunes with mine. I am to blame. No. No, I demanded it. If there is any blame, it is mine. You two share the blame, and I share the wild horses. <laughs> The fat one first. Oh, well, I'm not proud. I'm glad they go last. Honest, I, well, I don't want to go first. Come on. I right, bring him around here. Oh. I am tight, Ben. <laughs> Rest if you can. You will be safe soon. My people will try to make you forget what has happened. I will never forget. Nor will I forget that it was you who saved me. That you are safe is reward enough. meet us close by with our horses. You have arranged for everything. When one guards a treasure, he leaves nothing to chance. What of the others? All safe. We escape with ease. We ride much faster for our lives than they for their pay. What of my friends, Mirab and Nitka? They await you at our village.
not for good. All is well? Yes, we are in good hands. Take this girl, let her be clothed and refreshed, and then bring her to me. I begin to wonder if he saved her for me or himself. If you'd only keep her, I'd breathe freely again. I wish I had words to describe your loveliness. Do not think me ungrateful, but may I ask you a question? Please do. This morning, we were strangers. Yet this afternoon, you risked your life under your men to save me. Why? The sight of you now assures me that I made no mistake. I am a slave girl. There are many such who could be purchased at no risk. You think it's strange that I interfered with your execution. Perhaps you think that one slave owner takes you from another. Such is the custom. There are other reasons too, but they all vanish from my mind and only your beauty remains. I... I cannot look at you without wanting desperately to press my lips to yours. Are you talking to your slave? No, you are talking to your slave. I often heard the songs of the desert, but they have never been so beautiful. I do not think I shall mind my bondage. You are not in bondage. No one is a slave here. We all were once. <laughs> 